giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Hello everyone and welcome to Mediacom News Leaders. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Carol Kelly. Joining us today from Shelter House in Iowa City, we've got Angelica Veneta. Angelica, welcome. Hi, thank you. So last month we talked uh, all about your great fundraiser, the book sale. Mm -hmm. Tell us how the success of that this year. Yeah, so that book sale wrapped up the last weekend in March and it was one of our most successful events to date. Um, We've had that book sale for over 20 years, and this year we broke the $20,000 mark for fundraising. We actually raised $27,000, so we're so oh appreciative God. of the people in the community who came out to support all of our efforts. And that's something you do every single year, so yes. make sure you put it on the calendar for next year. Absolutely. Um, closing the book on that event, literally. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about your next big event you have coming up in June, Break the Cycle of Homelessness. Tell us about that. Yeah, so uh, the Break the Cycle of Homelessness is a bike ride. It's a 15-mile fun ride. So it's for the casual rider, but certainly the endurance riders are more than welcome to participate. This will be the second annual year and it will be held on June 22nd. We'll be starting out at Terry Trueblood and be riding up to 30 Hop and ending at Big Grove. So you said 15 mile ride. Is mm -hmm. it for the whole family? Yes. And actually this year we are adding something new. We really want to encourage children to participate. They're some of our greatest um, and strongest supporters we've seen throughout the years. And so we're adding a children's ride around. Terry Trueblood and really encouraging them to sign up and do fundraising for us as well and we actually have a discounted rate for children for their registration fee. And let's talk about that, the mm -hmm. cost of this for families and deadlines to yes, register. absolutely. So you can register up until the day of the ride but we do have early bird registration until May 22nd so that's $25 for adults and $15 for children and then after that it'll be $35 um, and then those funds that we raise through registration will help achieve our overall fundraising goal as well as the additional fundraising that participants do. Tell us a little bit about how this fundraiser di differs from some of the other events that you do. Yeah, so really with this particular event, we're hoping to mobilize our supporters to do fundraising on our behalf. So to ask their friends and family and connections to support our organization. Uh, we've seen a lot of success through those Facebook fundraisers, uh, and this is our way of implementing that. And we're just, again, see such incredible support of the community who are willing to come out to our book sale or our barbecue dinner and we know that we can advance our mission even further by spreading our reach throughout the state and certainly throughout the country. So tell us about this year's fundraising goal. What is that this year? Yeah, so our fundraising goal for the bike ride is $20,000 uh, and that will go to help us support all of our programs and permanent supportive housing that we offer here in the Iowa City um, Eastern Iowa community and um, a few numbers that we always like to share is that $15 will help feed a family of five, will provide a meal for a family of five. $100 provide support services for um, a family of four for one day. Um, and so paying the registration fee or doing additional fundraisers will help us continue to provide those programs. So tell us also how people can get involved. Obviously riding the yes. day of, but I bet you need volunteers. We absolutely need <laughs> volunteers. Um, we'll have a water station along the route. So anybody who's interested in cheering on our riders or helping with registration, or at either of those route stops can contact Shelter House. I encourage everybody to visit our website at shelterhouseiowa.org. Go to the events tab and click on Break the Cycle of Homelessness bike ride um, and there'll be some information on how you can contact us to volunteer but that's also where we encourage people to go to register for the ride. So talk about the day of the event. Is it just show up with your bike or what's the expectations that day? Yeah, so the it'll be a morning bike ride and we just ask people to show up certainly with their bikes um, and then we'll have a few bike shops that will do tune-ups on the um, bikes and make sure that everybody is ready to go and be safe out on the trails. Um, and then we will have yoga, we'll have a few activities leading up to the big ride uh, before we set off. And you said it is 15 miles. Is mm -hmm. there, uh, let's say you can't make it, is, is it like group all together or how's that work? Uh, no, it's kind of at your own pace. We'll certainly all go off at the same time and then you can stay as long or as little amount of time as you'd like at the different routes stops um, but we do certainly encourage everybody to finish up with us at Big Grove because we'll have a lot um, fun raffle prizes and food and drink out there as well um, so kind of go at your own pace um, we want everybody to have a good time and to be safe so June 22nd mm -hmm. head to the website for more information always a pleasure Angelica thank you thank you so much this has been Mediacom News Leaders your opportunity to get the full story from the most reliable sources exclusively on Mediacom News Leaders mm -hmm.